For my demonstration, I'm just going to move up and fill in all the blanks for all of these activities to be the same account. But in reality, that's not true. You should sit down with a finance person in the customer side and decide about maybe they would like to have a different sets of accounts. Again, whatever I show you is for learning, but it's not the best practice. I strongly recommend you do not use the same account for all these. But this is just wanted not to waste the time and take like a few hours just to set up the right account for the right activity. That's part of your implementation time. That's why the implementation of finance and inventory it may take some time, just because of these things. Needless to say, let's go through this list very quick, and we come back to it, and we're going to actually see it in activity, because I don't necessarily want to spend lots of hours here explaining every single thing theoretically. I rather set it up once, high level, randomly, I pick up some of those values, explain them to you, and then throughout the rest of the supply chain series and sessions that I'm going to go through, you are seeing it in action. So I explained the packing slip. Obviously, it's a T accounting, so you need an offset for it. So that's the first two line. Issue means you are deducting quantity from your warehouse. Whenever you hear issue means you are putting a minus in front of the quantity. I issued three things. That means I got rid of three of my items in my warehouse. I received three things. That means you're actually adding quantity. So issue means getting it out. Receive means bringing it in. So at that time, when you do an issue, that means you need to deduct the cost. That means no longer your inventory has that much value in it because you're taking it off. That doesn't mean you're losing them. That means you're actually going to hopefully make some money off of it. 